and then you start with the threading right here. Uh, you can sew as well it, along the, this line as well. And the, that could be something uh, dimensional as well as a very uh, interesting material that using this you know, thread as color as a drawing. And you can st stitch all different way. Either you can draw or directly sew like that. Okay, now. Okay, okay. And I'm following this like a, a black line though. You can always cross board. You can do a little more deeper going to the, this side and uh, cross like that. So this is one of the example I want to show you. Now, now here's the thing. Now let's go back to the, um, my, you know, uh, book again. So uh, last week I made this one. As you see, this is like a smink drawing though. Uh, but I did like the, uh, this kind of, uh, you know, extenter. So let's thread again. Uh, in other words, this is sort of a, you know, like Asian, uh, Eastern here, but then thread is definitely from original from England or you know or ancient you know, woman patchwork. We uh, added on here as a drawing line, so you can use a red, right, or a different brown color. Let's see the brown. Brown. Uh, you may not see clearly on the air though. When you use brown on this smink or black you have a very subtlety of a look, which, you know, very, uh, I think it's very elegant, sophisticated. So you use, use those kind of idea on it, right? Even you can write about your poem with a thread, how's that? Certain, especially in this book, you can write some, you know, uh, writings on your poem or message, and you follow through all the threading on the writing. It'd be fantastic, one of the handmade writing with a, you know, thread, how's that? Especially someone who, into the writing uh, is like, you know, double uh, creation on the, your, uh, you know, books or, you know, canvas. But this is, idea is not new though. It's already been uh, very well used um, artist and art world. So this I brought today is something refreshing and very familiar our, you know, uh, uh, techniques and the drawing. So for example, this is very strong line and I like it to So for example, I can follow through this line or cross over, up to you. So something you finished with a drawing, but you don't have to, uh, you know, go over. You can add something different, for example, like that. And I go another side. You feel like almost like sewing your, you know, sketchbook, which is fine as well. Uh, I think this is very, you know, something very playful yet uh, idea-wise is so, you know, uh, familiar to our, our uh, daily life. So use that. At the same time, when you make a little mistake on the books and the notebooks and the drawings, uh, use this and sew. Sewing ideas gives you better, uh, you know, modifying your drawing. So you have another completed a different look right here. Okay, that is good. So let me I finish right here. So I finish right here. You can use your flower pattern if you like to, all kinds of stuff you can do that. Right there, okay. Right now, so I wanna show you the back side. Back side is like this. Uh, when you see the back, because of a back side the zigzag, front is like that, right? Uh, take a look this side, right? The back side is right here. So you have a different, you know, see line here goes against the, uh, you know, hand draw. It's kind of neat. I like that. I like this kind of idea myself. So um, when I discover something come up to the idea, well, I can't wait to, you know, come to the show and, you know, share. Uh, it's sort of a, you know, double result. Myself was enjoying as well as this introduction whole idea is like sort of a um, you know nice way to you know remind our own certain creation. You keep going, you know. So now.